guys welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd do a little haul for you guys I went to Sephora over the weekend and you know when you go to Sephora you just spend all your money and they give you you know what's the worst part about that they give you these two little bags and you're like I just spent like $300 in this place and these two little bags is all I have to show for it. But that's completely fine. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I got because some of the things are, I guess, new to me. Uh, probably old to you guys, but new to me. And so I wanted to share those things with you guys. Let's get started. So I see the receipt here. This looks like just the gift receipt. I'm not sure how much I spent. Um, that's just like a survey receipt. I'll link everything in the bottom bar below. So if you need anything, uh, feel free to comment and let me know if you guys want to see me try something new or if you think you're my shade. The first thing I see in my bag is this cord diffuser angled brush. I think it was like $25 or $30. I'm not too sure. Um, I will open it up on camera for you guys so you can see what it looks like. I did get it for my foundation, so let's see here. So it just comes in a little cap like this. Obviously it's cute, but I mean, it won't stay on there forever, so I'll pull that right off. Oh, let's go down. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's a camera will focus yep that's what it looks like I like I said I believe it was like $30 but I'll link everything in the bottom bar below the next thing I got is the Urban Decay the slick oil control makeup setting spray I mean I'm pretty sure we all know about this holy grail you have to use it before and after I mean I use it before I put my foundation on and then after as well. Um, that's just me though. I think it works a million times better when you put it on before your foundation. This is what it looks like. I always get the travel size and I know a lot of times people think I'm cheap because I'm getting the travel size, but for me the travel size just lasts so long um, and it fits perfectly in my bag if I'm leaving. It's just perfect for me, so I always get this size. here the next thing I see is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna I did go ahead and pick this up in the Jasper 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 hey okay I did go ahead and pick this up in the uh, Sephora just because I have been obsessed with watching videos about Fenty makeup I'm over it I have to have one I need to know what all the hype is about if there's any hype um, I will do a wear test for you and kind of show you guys you know how it wears and what it looks like on my skin tone uh, it's called Fenty Beauty by Rihanna the pro filter soft Mount matte long wear foundation I got this in the color 410. This is what it looks like on camera. I have a lot of lights going, so um, it's definitely a chocolate color. If you guys think you're my color, um, 410, it seems light, but we matched my face in store, and then I tried it on. Uh, this is what it looks like. It is coming up extremely light, and it seems like all the shades come up extremely light, but I promise you it's not that light. I'll show you guys a quick swatch of what it looks like on hand uh, when I rub in, and then we can go that way. Looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but definitely a darker dark caramel color definitely has some caramel hues in there the next thing I see is this Huda, Be Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette long story backstory behind this the new Huda Beauty palette that came out 
was very pinky and I wanted to get it. I wanted to buy it so bad, but on a darker complexion like mine, a lot of those white colors started to come up ashy for me and they really weren't working for my skin tone. And sometimes you may want things, but they don't work for you. And if they don't work for you, bye. So instead, I picked up this Huda, Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. It's a small palette, but it is beautiful, legit beautiful. Um, the colors are like this. I don't know if you guys are getting a good, you know, there it is. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, I'll swatch some of them for you guys on the... Just give you a couple. That is what they look like. They are gorgeous and I'm so excited to try them. I've wanted that palette for about three months now and I've just been thinking about it, thinking about it. Every time I went to the mall, I was like, ah, because mm, it's so small. But in the reality of things, you got to realize you don't use that single palette every day. And I'm like, okay, rationalize it. I'll just get it. And I had the friends that like to shop with me. They told me to get it. So I got it. All right. The next thing I see is the... Um, Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. This is what it looks like in the box. Focus. Exactly. This is exactly what it looks like in the box. And it claims to be hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly, and non -com comedogenic. I don't even know what that means, but sure. Um, it says 100% said this foundation blurred their imperfections. 100% said this foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect. And 97% said their foundation provided natural coverage. The reason I bought both of these foundations um, are because these are the two that I've seen going around on um, YouTube that I've really liked and it's been really a favorite of mine to watch and they've both looked perfect. From what I've seen, the Fenty Foundation has won, but obviously I like to try myself and definitely form my own opinion about them, which is why I bought both of them. I got this in the Spiced Rum color and it's just, it's beautiful. It looks really good on. Um, if you can clearly see the difference, if you look at this foundation and this foundation, they don't look like the same color at all. And that's just packaging, you know, and how they settle in on the skin. I will do a quick swatch for you guys. This one is definitely darker um, undertones. So that's what that looks like. I don't know if you guys can really see, but like I said, I will do a uh, video for you guys next doing one side Born This Way and the other side Fenty Beauty. And you guys can tell me which one you like the most. I'll do a wear test to kind of see what you guys are feeling and what looks best on the skin. Right now, I think I'm leading towards Fenty. I haven't tried them out yet, but from what I've seen online, Fenty looks like the clear winner, but we'll see. You never know. Everyone's skin reacts differently. I also did pick up the Fenty Lip Gloss. I have it on, which is why you can't see. It's the pinky color. I can't remember. I'll definitely link it in the bottom bar below. I don't have anything on under my lips, um, under the lip gloss, just the lip gloss. And the reason I picked the pinky color was because for my skin tone, I felt like that one would look best. I didn't know if the... Uh, clear one or the white one would look a little too ashy on me and when I tried it I could see it didn't look clear to me it came up on my skin a little white and so for lighter skin tones I think that will definitely work it'll definitely look beautiful and then for darker skin tones I think the peak the pinky one I will definitely stand out more all in all, I think my Sephora haul was successful for the things that I wanted. Oh yeah, 
They also gave me a little sample of the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow. I was talking to one of the new employees there and he was saying that he would use it as a highlighter. I know a lot of people are utilizing it as a, excuse me, an under eye setting powder or whatever they're using it as, but my skin complexion, like I said, that will not work for me. He said to use it as a highlighter and I'm definitely gonna try that. And maybe I'll try that along with the two foundations and let you guys see if you like it and give me some suggestions. Uh, let's see. I got a comment on my last video asking me what foundations I was wearing in that video and I'm wearing Urban Decay and a mix of CoverGirl and Urban Decay. I'll also link those in the bottom bar below. It is winter time so I'm definitely at my lightest that I would be in the summertime. Obviously I'm at my darkest which is also beautiful. So I will link all the different colors and swatches below and if you guys have have any of these products feel free to leave me a comment and let me know how you like them and if you took one of them back and what the reasons were behind that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Jasper, you're making so much noise like dude you gotta stop. I got to stop. Say hi. He's literally chasing a ball all around. Can you not like me? <laughs> He's chasing this ball all around and he just decided to do it when I started filming. It's just like as soon as I start filming, let's make all the noise in the world. I love him though. Say bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. Bye guys.